Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting Pikes Peak, Colorado. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. Monikered America's Mountain, Pikes Peak is the highest summit of the southern front range of the Rocky Mountains, peaking at 14,115 feet in Pike National Forest. It's just 12 miles west of downtown Colorado Springs. The mountain is named in honor of American explorer Zebulon Pike. The summit is higher than any point in the United States east of its longitude. The Ute Indians who called Pikes Peak region their home were the Tabaguchi, whose name means the People of the Sun Mountain. Tava, or sun, is the Ute word given by these first people to the mountain that we now call Pikes Peak. Historians estimate the Ute people arrived in Colorado about 500 AD. The first Europeans to see Pikes Peak were the Spanish in the 1700s. Early Spanish explorers named the mountain El Capitan, meaning the leader. American explorer Zebulon Pike named the mountain Highest Peak in 1806, and the mountain was later commonly known as Pike's Highest Peak. American explorer Stephen Harriman Long named the mountain James Peak in honor of Edwin James, who climbed to the summit in 1820. The mountain was later renamed Pike's Peak in honor of Pike. The name was simplified by the United States Board of Geologic Names in 1890. In July 1860, Clark, Gruber and Company commenced minting gold coins in Denver bearing the phrase Pikes Peak Gold and an artist rendering of the peak. In 1863, the U.S. Treasury purchased the minting equipment for $25,000 or about 530,000 adjusted for inflation to open the Denver Mint. In July 1893, Catherine Lee Bates wrote the song America the Beautiful after having admired the view from the top of Pikes Peak. It appeared in print in the Congregationist, a weekly journal on July 4th, 1895. A plaque commemorating the words to the song was placed at the summit. Major gold deposits were not discovered in the Pikes Peak area until the Cripple Creek Mining District was discovered southwest of Pikes Peak and led, in 1893, to one of the last major gold rushes in the lower 48 states. Pikes Peak was also the home of a ski resort from 1939 until 1984. Pikes Peak is one of Colorado's 54 14ers, or mountains more than 14,000 feet above sea level. The massif rises 8,000 feet above downtown Colorado Springs and is a designated National Historic Landmark. The new Pikes Peak Summit Visitor Center is now open and has interpretive exhibits. More than half a million people reach the summit each year. In fact, Pikes Peak is the most visited mountain summit in North America. Pikes Peak Highway entrance is located just 15 minutes west of Colorado Springs on Highway 24. Plan for your round trip journey to the summit to take two to three hours minimum. If you don't want to drive, the Manitou and Pikes Peak Railway, the world's highest cog railroad, operates from Manitou Springs to the summit. 
The highway is famous worldwide for the annual Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, a motor race held since 1916. The short film Climb Dance features Ari Vantanen racing his Peugeot automobile up the steep twisty slopes. It also hosts the Pikes Peak Cycling Hill Climb, formerly the Assault on the Peak, a cycling hill climb race first held in 2010, and the USA Cycling Hill Climb National Championships, a race first held in 2016. The most popular hiking route to the top is called Bar Trail, which approaches the summit from the east. The trailhead is just past the Cog Railway Depot in Manitou Springs. Visitors can walk, hike, or bike the trail. Although the Bar Trail is rated only Class 1, it is a long and arduous hike with nearly 8,000 feet of elevation gain on a 13-mile trip one way. The Pikes Peak Marathon, a trail race held since 1956, is a round trip between the trailhead and the Pikes Peak. The Bar Trail Mountain Race is a 13-mile round trip between the trailhead and Bar Camp. Another route begins at Crags Campground, approaching the summit from the west. Since the end of 1922, the Ad Am Ann Club, a mountaineering group, climbed the Bar Trail on the east face of Pikes Peak each year on December 30th, stay overnight at Bar Camp, and continue to the top on December 31st. Then at midnight on New Year's Eve, the members and their guests ignite a fireworks display from the summit. Since 1969, the summit of Pikes Peak has been the site of the United States Army Pikes Peak Research Laboratory, a medical research laboratory for the assessment of the impact of high altitude on human physiological and medical parameters of military interest. At the peak, the partial pressure of oxygen is only about 60% of that at sea level. Water boils at 186 degrees at 14,000 feet, rather than 212 degrees at sea level. A faster rate of respiration is required by humans and animals not acclimated to high altitudes. Altitude sickness may develop in those who are sensitive or who overexert themselves. Please see Pikes Peak website for more information to avoid issues climbing the mountain. The summit of Pikes Peak has a polar climate due to its elevation. Snow is a possibility any time of the year, and thunderstorms with high winds gusting up to 100 miles an hour or more are common in the afternoons. America's Mountain is open year-round, weather permitting. Conditions change frequently, so call their pre-recorded information line before departing. The staff updates the weather info prior to opening and as conditions change throughout the day. The drive down the mountain is very steep. If you don't know how to use your lower gears as an engine brake, we recommend reading your car owner's manual. You can't ride your brakes down the mountain because you'll burn them up. Finally, bear in mind the attraction is a park of Colorado Springs and is not a state or national park.